Redbubble tags. There is nothing that generates more controversy and is more shrouded in mystery. So in this video, I'm going to break down my opinion on some tags. And I've got a cool tag tool that I found that I've been using. And I think it's uh, pretty cool and it will help you brainstorm extra tag ideas. <music> So if you're lying awake at night wondering, you can't sleep because your brain is going, how do tags work? Well, you're not alone. Here's a blog post that's on the Redbubble blog from 2014. And it's like trying to help us learn how tags work. Now Redbubble lets us use up to 50 tags in artwork. So this blog post says, try to aim for at least three to five tags. That seems really low to me with 10 being a good chunky amount. Try to keep around 10 or less on each artwork. It's like, what? Okay, again, this is an old blog, right? It's from 2014. Then we get to 2019, again, Redbubble blog, the art of tagging on Redbubble, and we've got here an example, and it says brainstorm 30 words and then get it down to the best 15. So it's like, well, if they want 15, why do they allow 50? That's the problem that I think most of us are struggling with when we're wondering about this. So I just, you know, look, I'm not saying I'm the greatest expert on tagging. I know we all have our own opinions on Redbubble tagging, but you can do this yourself. So I'm just showing you sort of how the math is done here. I just typed in a random phrase. I just typed in funny dad, got back three quarters of a million results. And then I just popped open a couple that are like, best-selling designs. So here's Science Lab sticker. It's got the dog there. And as we scroll right down to the bottom, we can see how many tags there are. So this is the tags. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, about 17. If we look at this one, surely not everybody was kung fu fighting. Pretty popular design. They have way more. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, probably about 30 in here. So it doesn't seem to be punishable if you have more than 15 tags. I have more than 15 tags on a lot of my best-selling designs and I haven't been, at least as far as I know, I haven't been punished because of it. So I don't want to say definitively, and I don't think anybody can say definitively that more tags are better or that more tags are worse, but if you'd like to have more tags, I found a tool to get you up near the 50, if that's what you would like to do. So the tool is called topbubbleindex.com. And I just found it online uh, and I've been using it for a while and it's pretty cool. And the reason I like it is because I sometimes struggle to get like more than even 10 tags. I'm like, hmm, does anybody have any ideas about what, you know, funny cat with a cucumber, like, hello, what, you know, what do we do for tags, right? So there's this tag generator thing on this site. So again, this is topbubbleindex.com and there's a tag generator button at the top. So when I type in search keyword, like let's say funny cat, for example, and I'll click search, what will happen is it will give me back a whole bunch of design tags. And it says, the number at the end indicates popularity, higher is better. So you can see here, funny cat three, funny four, cat five. It's a bunch of ones, a bunch of twos. So you can go through and you can copy all of them. You just click copy all and it just copies it to your keyboard, uh, clipboard. Or you can click on anything and it will remove that tag. So for example, if I don't want gifts down at the bottom, if I just click it, it just disappears. So I can remove a bunch you know, if I see something in here that I don't want, like the word sun, for example, I'm going, that doesn't really make any sense. I can skim this down to my 15 or 20 that I want to have, and then I can copy whatever is remaining, and then I can just plop them into the red bubble design. So it's more of a time saver than anything. But I know the common question is, well, how many should I have? I typically have about 25. I figured let's split the difference, right? It allows up to 50, five zero. They say on these random blog posts, anything between 15 and 20 is great. I go to 25 and I'm like, there you go. And I make some sales. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you real quick that there's this thing called topbubbleindex.com and it really seems to work. Now, I don't know about this five and four and three. I don't know about the popularity. 
what I really like about it is it's just given me some stuff that I can quickly copy. And so I can use my own critical thinking skills to determine if I want to have those tags or not. It's more of just a time saving tool, but a pretty powerful one, especially if you're uploading a lot of designs. So I hope you found that helpful. Onward and upward, the mystery of the tagging continues, but here is at least a time saver for those of us who are trying to make some sales. Anyway, I hope you have a great day, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.